you to forget your gaming and esports hot topic, hot tweets, the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and probably argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we each can only use one time when we all... Oh, want the other person to shut up? Well, I'm uh, stop I know you kind of half muted yourself, but it's like, will we example. use it though? Will we use it? Oh, ones in chat if we won't. Listen, we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it, shall we? Mm hmm. Another month, another report of major crunch at another major game studio. This time around, it's Call of Duty developer Treyarch. A report from Kotaku detailed how the studio went through long periods of crunch during the development of Black Ops 4. Specifically, the game's battle royale mode, Black Blackout was created in less than a year due to executive orders. The report also details Treyarch's poor treatment of contractors, including turning off the AC during the summer, low wages, and refusing to let contractors and employees talk to each other. Lisa, my goodness, this is a heavy blow, heavy news. Um, do you think Treyarch's oh culture is maybe a direct result of the Call of Duty release schedule? Because um, it's pretty heavy. I mean, a game a year, yeah. although they do trade off between studios, like it is heavy. It's a lot okay. of work. And even like just the whole, this whole news about Blackout, yeah, I mean, there were some issues with it after the fact too, like people felt like it wasn't cooked yeah. as well as and it could have been. It. Oh, ugh. yeah. So the result so, wasn't even good. Um, <sighs> was, is this studio held in like a third world country? And oh my is goodness. this really a sweatshop? Because like, oh, no AC in the summer? Yeah, that's crazy. What? Yeah. We're in 2019 and this is happening? This is actually yeah. insane. I feel so bad for uh, the contractors. Uh, if you go and actually read the article from Kotaku, like, it goes in full detail mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous. Like the QAs are being paid $13 an hour and they're like told not to talk to the full time employees. There's like parties happening and they're like, hey, you can okay. party for like 20 minutes, but then you gotta go back to work. Okay. What? Okay, so That's I'm insane. just gonna I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here for one oh second. Just for one second. Are you against parties? I'm not, I'm not of course I'm not I'm not against parties, I'm not against, against party fun. Guys. You know that I want to party all summer <laughs> long, baby. Uh, but listen, I just I feel like a lot of these developers, it's not just Treyarch, it's not just these like we've we've seen these stories already yeah. about crunch, right? We were making fun of not making fun of Epic, but we were talking about Epic mm -hmm. and their crunch too. So many game developers right. have this from big studios to indies, they have a crunch. This is okay. just what it's like working in video game development. I know it's not okay, but the fact that like this is all, all these stories are coming out now, like, oh, it's a big deal, like there's crunch, they've got crunch. The no AC thing is what really bothers me. <laughs> That's actually what really pisses me off. Especially the no for AC a, thing. Your pits, you know, uh, yeah, like you do. I need AC constantly. I get it. Like, yes, that's why it's minus 20 in here. It's for your pits. Marissa, everyone else is freezing, by the way. <laughs> it's because of her, <laughs> just for the record. That's not accurate. Um, but she just to re needed. rebuttal, uh, sure, a lot of companies go through this, but uh, does, you know, do companies do it twice? Like, do they repeat their mistakes because yeah. apparently Call of Duty they did the same thing with Black Ops 3 I believe where they scrapped uh, a mode like midway and they made everyone <sighs> redo in the mode and now they're doing it again for Black Ops 4 despite the fact that they promised this wouldn't happen again so poor management guys uh, yeah, I mean maybe there's a there's a testament to that for sure and I so. and I heed your words absolutely I just think that when there is such a time crunch for all these things um, it's hard to learn from past mistakes when I'm stopping you because one time's up and there is no excuse for uh, humanity rights. Hello? No AC? Get out of here! All right. Elsewhere, PUBG Corp is launching a new studio. Oh, another studio called Striking Distance. The studio isn't going to be a support studio, however. PUBG Corp wants it to develop new narrative-focused games set within the PUBG universe. The team behind that project will be led by Glenn Schofield, who created Dead Space and previously worked on Call of Duty at Sledgehammer Games. Mm -hmm. So, another studio. Well, this is interesting. Do you think uh, PUBG should expand outside of Battle Royales to narrative-based uh, games? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Again, I do not? think that PUBG has the best Battle Royale esports out there. They've done it, they've done such an amazing job with it. And I mm. honestly think that like these guys that put all their love and time and attention into this game definitely deserve a story mode. Why not? Like, Let's bring in a whole new audience here. Let's yeah. bring in an audience that maybe doesn't do too well in Battle Royales. <laughs> And might really enjoy a narrative story. Talking yeah, about us. <laughs> exactly. I think that might, I think that'll be so fun. Why not expand on this universe they've already built and take advantage of the fans that they already have? It's interesting that they decided to do kind of like the opposite way. Like they created a good yeah. sport before they created a good full game. I uh, actually looked up if there was any lore around PUBG, and there's actually like no, nothing. Nothing. It's, nothing exists, and there are people who are speculating. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting where they take this. Do you think the fact like? 
a lore can actually amplify a game success how many times? Like, how yeah. important is it, do you think? Oh my gosh, and it's so important, especially for me, even watching, like, Overwatch. Overwatch okay. is, which is one of those games, like, it's, it's tough to get into the eSport if you haven't played it, mm -hmm. but if you have played it, you know the story behind, behind some of these characters, it makes, yeah. makes it that much more fun to watch. So, right. I mean, for PUBG, we don't start with anybody. We start with a naked human, like in boxers, or whatever it is. Me. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we don't yeah. have, there's no personality there, there's no backstory, so for them to actually build something behind it, so exciting, and the fact that they're bringing in somebody that worked on Dead Space. Uh -huh. Dead Space is such an incredible game. If you haven't played it, for sure get on it. Yes, it's scary, but I just mean like these are people that know what they're doing when it comes yeah. to narration, I mean, when it comes to story building. So I feel like it's there. It's going to be a little hard because obviously this game is based in more realism. Like yeah. these are just people, soldiers, whereas you know Overwatch has that benefit of like crazy animated yeah. characters that come from outer space. Like there's so much to pull from. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, interesting if they can make these characters interesting as well. Oh yeah, L literally blank slate. Like, we have no idea where they're going to go, but it'd be nice to not just use aliens. the same old rinse and repeat. No, aliens, no. For oh sure. my God, please. Let's make no. it aliens. Zombies? Aliens. Wait, they already did that. Oh my no, God, stop. No. Epic Game Store exclusives <laughs> are a hot topic in the industry right now, and one developer explained the reason why they moved to the platform. In an AMA on Reddit, Frogwares, the developer behind the Sherlock Holmes games and The Sinking City, said that it partnered with Epic for one big reason. It lets the studio have a future. The money Epic gave them, along with the bigger cut of sales they receive, will let the studio pay its 80 employees and allows them to keep making the kind of games they want to make. So, Lisa. Some people on Reddit did not like the fact that Frogwares let look on the deal. Um, they took the deal because of money, but what do you think? Uh, I mean, I read the response that Frogwares oh, uh, okay. said on Reddit. Like, yeah. they were very reasonable about it yeah. and very personal. Completely great PR answer. You guys are doing a good job. <laughs> um, but yeah, how can we hate uh, a business for making a good business decision to help their employees. Mm -hmm. They even said they're like 80 people. Like this is yeah. not a big studio, right? So they need to really think about how these people are getting paid for the time that they're putting in to create games for us. Yeah. You know, because we see on the flip side, what happens when there's a big company, <laughs> Treyarch, you know, I'm not gonna yeah. name any other names, yeah. but like this is the, like, the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. And we can't hate them for doing that. I'm actually surprised at all the hate that the Epic Game Store is getting. I think it's just I don't a trickle down. It's a trickle down effect from people just hating for on me? Epic. Hating oh. on, it's just, it's a thing that people are doing. Even at the Rocket League tournament, um, there were fans in the stands that were pooping on <gasps> Epic because of their recent acquisition of um, Psyonix, Brody right? Brody so, them? Was no, he in the middle Brody, of just, like waving? Brody is not, but it does <laughs> cut back to Brody on the desk because yeah. they just showed people in the in the audience, right? And they went back to Brody. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like it's just something that people love to do. It's internet culture. They want to pile on. Right now they're piling on Epic. I kind of yeah. love the fact that Epic doesn't even have like a PR spokesperson. Like they don't even put out any statements anymore at all ever because you know what? They don't need to. Again, they've got FU money. Okay, yeah. and clearly developers, smart ones who want to pay their people and maybe not put them under any kind of crunch, would take this advantage, take this deal because they are poor. The, them giving them money means that they they believe in them. They're investing in yeah. them, investing in their future, so that way they can actually focus on making an amazing game. I. I'm applauding Epic for this, absolutely. And I applaud developers for taking what's owed. Take, 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 take the money. Care, yeah, take, take the, the money. Yours. Take care of your people. Thank you, uh, yeah. 100%. Uh, you guys are just haters. People just want to hate. People there are, are just hating. Listen, if they're giving you what you want in life, they're giving you good deals, I mean, I, I don't guess. know, just enjoy it. Be, like, we're so lucky as gamers. Why do we complain so much? I don't know, Marissa. She's asking the uh. really difficult questions. I have no answer for you. So let's move on to our next story because the dumpster fire that is GameStop <laughs> is partnering with Fighting game legend Justin Wong to create a series of gaming clinics to support amateur players. The clinics will be released as videos online and will focus on a number of different fighting games. GameStop has been expanding its esports marketing efforts over the last year, including sponsoring the Overwatch League Grand Finals and helping to build Complexity Gaming's new headquarters. So Marissa, um, do you think GameStop's uh, esports marketing uh, is what they should be doing, especially since their stocks it's, apparently are it, just It's so weird. It's like, downhill. I, I, I don't know, I feel like a lot of these companies now, especially a company like GameStop, would have to make a vanity investment, okay? So Justin Wong is definitely a vanity investment. He has all kinds of numbers. He gets all kinds of views, and he would be great for what yeah. they, it seems like they're planning to do here. And I feel like, honestly, Justin is also a very open and honest person, too. I feel like he gave them some consulting work as well, and he told them what people might want, what his audience might want, and that's why they're building this together with him. It's a very smart move on their part to actually partner with someone with so much clout and so much respect, True. like Justin Wong, because honestly, so many gamers have just been so burnt out by GameStop. And it's not even like, I, I feel like it starts with the employees, number mm -hmm. one, because you go in there and you just feel like, 
uh, like it's every like a time, graveyard. Yeah, well, it's just like I, I've just never been. I've just never felt respected by employees Aww. when I get in there, just because like I'm a girl. They'll always talk to the guy standing beside me. Have you ever pulled the I'm the Mar Marissa no, Roberto no, card? No, I've literally never done that because I'm I, I'm not that person. But like. It, it it's be. annoying when like your face is actually on the screen in the store. That and there's, yes, and they still don't like they still don't, because like I'm the girl. They talk to the guy and said they always choose the guy over the girl to talk to. That's been my experience. But I don't know if like you feel the, the bar, same. But when the bartender talks to the guy instead of the girls because same, the guys same, will tip more. Same deal. It's really rude. There's two people standing there. Make eye contact with both of them and talk to them both as equals. Can you not? Can people not just do that? I don't know. I like that's my beef with GameStop. That's yeah. where that starts. Also, you know, I've known <laughs> someone who has worked inside the company as well and have, you know, yeah. said certain things that they've done that have been a little untoward. So, um, the tea. No, like, Spill the tea. It's just, they're clearly make, still making money off oh. of their, you know, their game insurance that they do. Yeah. And it's also, like, still the whole buyback system that they have there. They have to make money somehow. And if this is how they're going to do it, pouring it into esports and partnering and with somebody Wong. with clout like Justin Wong, then maybe they're making the right decisions and maybe we should keep uh, watching. They made an error, first what? of all, with Justin Wong's series. Why is he making educa con educational content when he can be making tier videos? Because, let's be uh, real, that's smart. what we want to see. No, no, no. Justin's Guys. saving that for his own channels, baby. Ooh, okay. He's smart. We're going to do it before Justin's smart. Just, just smart. No, no, idea. no we, nobody cares about our tears. They only want Jay Wong. I have tears right here. I know. All right. It's time <laughs> to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Easy Door, who opened a thousand Fortnite cookies. Fortune over the cookies. Oh, fortune cookies. <laughs> okay. And whatever. I, I'm like, what, what are Fortnite cookies <laughs> in the course of a nine hour stream? Okay, let's watch. Nine, 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 dude. The final fortune cookie. The final fortune cookie has come, dude. What's it gonna say? Many admire your social and physical appearance. 1,000 fortune cookies, dude. <laughs> what was the point of that? Over nine hours of content. Okay, that's content. A good, that's a good reason. Uh, like cleaning up is going to be a nightmare. Um, I'm just sad for all those cookies he threw on the floor. Like, I feel like he could have made some kind of fortune cookie cake or something. Like, he could have mashed them up and like done something fun with like the fortune cookie flour. Like, I don't like that he just threw them on the floor like that. I'm just thinking from a baker standpoint, yeah. he really should not have thrown them all on the floor. Sure, he should have but had them fortune in a bowl. cookies taste like ass. So <gasps> why would you like them? Yes, I love fortune They're cookies. They're pure sugar. Are oh. you kidding? Me? <laughs> They're disgusting. Marissa, you know why? It's because she likes to go to Mandarin and ask a buffet if you guys don't know and they always give those fortune cookies out. Hold on. I never hold, eat those. Yo, you better hold the phone right now. What? I do not like going to Mandarin. My <laughs> Italian family likes going to Mandarin and they I just the cater taste. to them. Are you serious? Yes. yes. No, what? Okay, listen. If you guys don't know, Italian people really enjoy Chinese buffets for some... I, I don't Did you look at me? What? No, I didn't look at you. <laughs> Vietnamese for the... I, I didn't... <laughs> She looked at me. I didn't know. Clip she's it. She's making this about race. Right now. Yeah, always. The case, I know she's Vietnamese. She takes me to pho all the time. Yeah. And yes, I said it right. She Listen, said it right. no, it's true that I don't know. I guess it's like a senior thing too. Fortune like cookies. Nona really loves going to Mandarin. Like she just loves the whole. She's just like, there's so much there, Maris. <laughs> the food is so good, Marisa. Like it's a whole thing. So I have to take her to that place specifically yeah. and nowhere else, or else we just have to go to Italian. But she makes Italian. Like I don't get it, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. It is good, I guess, some of the time, but no. I mostly. I just leave feeling sad. Aww. Well, that's why I don't my clothes right now. Okay, whatever. You know what? Just okay, move on. that just got too real. Uh, next <laughs> up, we have a clip from Games Done Quick where the crowd helps censor swear words during a Resident Evil 2 playthrough. What the fuck? Oh, thank you, guys. I forgot about that one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I love that. That's cute. Can we get that here? Or maybe actually Marissa needs one because what? she likes to drop a lot of F-bombs randomly. Yeah, yeah. So around the office, I've maybe. been trying to hold it back because we're not supposed to swear anymore. Can I say it right now? Will they? No, that's what I mean. Don't. <laughs> We don't want to make extra for editors it at is. all, but like it's been really difficult. Like it so, is hard. so especially with profound thoughts because some of these guys really let loose. Yeah. And we have to just like kind of reconstruct so we don't swear. It's tough, especially when you know your daily life is filled with swears. It's true. Actually, this is weird, but growing up, I had a mental thing where I was like, I'm not gonna swear ever. And I really? didn't start swearing until like grade eleven. Like I waited yeah. a long time. I know. Why did I do that? I don't so, get it. So now she's making up for lost And now time. I'm just dropping it left, right, C P Z. Yeah, C's, C's and P's, people. <laughs> C's and P's. You guess what I want. Literally, 
is the best time of day where we scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the crows bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they learn about the complexities of life. <laughs> Ms. tweets and likes his tweet so much that he shares it on Insta. There's literally so much ish I've learned this past year. Like, did you know you have to buy shower curtain rings to put the curtain on the pole? What? I just ran the curtains through the pole. Dude, dude. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. So, uh, Lisa, no. now I need to know what was the biggest thing you learned when you moved out? Like, what was the, what was the one thing you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get that? Uh, you know what? Okay, I was I moved out pretty early. I moved out at 18 for university, yeah. and I was a very independent kid. I felt like I was pretty set with furniture and stuff. The mm. thing that was most shocking is that I guess I couldn't live off like a diet of instant noodles. Oh, but just, you did try though. I did try for oh, a long tried. time until I started getting lightheaded all the time. Mm. You and know. she's still trying. Now. I'm still trying now. <laughs> I'm trying to make it happen somehow. Mixing bubble tea. I noticed. It's the yeah. sugar. It's hard. Dieting is really hard when you're living on your own, especially if you know home cooking and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Cooking well, is hard. That's probably the hardest part for me. I don't know. I moved. I moved out at 18 as well. Yeah. And I think the main thing for me was condiments. You have to, cause what? You, yeah, because you have to buy, you, just growing up in your house, you, there's always condiments in the fridge. But when you yeah. have to start fresh and buy all the condiments that you might need. Yeah, but that's you don't the only way to make food taste good, so I had tons of that. Like, oh, I, I doused everything in ketchup. No, 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 but, I just forgot oh. about them, and so when I went to the fridge for something, I'm like, oh, it's empty. Aw. Yeah, so okay. if you guys go to Marissa's place, bring no, ketchup. No, I've learned. Oh. I've got all the condiments now, don't worry. Oh, yay. Pickled everything. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, we love pros for their open and honest talk about dating. Mm. League of Legends pro Perks seems to have met the one. So, oh my god. I went uh, went on a date with this hot Asian chick and she ended up paying the bill even for the dessert. Oh, I know what you're thinking, but no, it wasn't me. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for the dessert. Oh! <laughs> But maybe she would. Maybe. Okay, Frosty at Wendy's, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, for, like first when you see something like this, some people were offended because, really? like, oh yeah, Why? like looking at some of the replies. But it's okay. There's, there's Modern more. Modern dating. There, there's more to the story. Sh th there is. Yeah. It turns out we know exactly who the lucky lady was. <laughs> Look at this. Double Lift says took G2 perks out for dinner and he didn't even put out. Guess I'll f him at Riff Rivals instead. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. The savagery continues for Riff Rivals, and this time it's a player's edition. Don't Yo, you love that? That's amazing. Did they script that? Like, how did they coordinate? They, they must have, because uh, Perks had also retweeted. Like, ah. he retweeted before he put his out there. So, just letting people know, like, listen, we had dinner together. But it was, they must have planned it over no, dinner. 100%. Like over dessert. They're like, like food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we going to do? Make everyone retweet this. No, but that's actually like, hilarious. Great. That's so classic double lift. Um, I like how you have to here. censor that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we'll have to see on the on the actual rift, like who's going to win. Because this, it could backfire, guys. Like, this is it's not. True. And he's really good at this stuff. Like, oh, sorry. Talking, whatever I said it. What? Censor me. We're. we're where twice, was everyone? Twice, professional. Yeah. But Lisa Duan. we'll see. We'll see how it goes on the rift. I'm so excited. So you guys, obviously, wait. When is the rift happening? When is the it, rift is happening. When the rift, when is, when is the rift go uh, down? Like now. Like it's, it's happening starting, now, I think, right? Thursday, which is today, tonight. Yeah, yeah, tonight. So, yeah. so you and Matt are gonna be talking about it on Hopefully Tuesday next then. week. Yeah. That's so we'll exciting. recap everything, guys. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Plus Let's three, move three. on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dang things the community has been making. Ever wonder what life in Russia is like? For yeah. those who have never known, have been there. Here's a game that will take you there, and it's in a style we all love and are definitely not sick of. <laughs> Russia, we you don't hunt us, we hunt you. That's I, <laughs> that was. See, like I don't even know it's offensive anymore. Like, what do you mean? Like, Is that offensive? What, 
I don't know, but if like Russians watching that, like, are you offended by the way that game looks? Is it accurate? Oh, come we, on. No, we don't know because we we don't know because we don't, I've never been to Russia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, what I mean? like, you know, it's all stereotypes. This is obviously a joke game. Shout out to Sorn43 yeah. on YouTube. It is available on Steam, guys, if you want to try it. Uh, but would you play? This is freaking hilarious. Russian battlegrounds. Every country yeah. should have one. I just love like the random give somebody or some animal the yeah. finger, like whatever. You fight the bear. The, That's what the, happens in Russia. <laughs> they deserve it. Fact. Um, no. Yeah. No. I I would play this. Yeah. I would play I, it. No. No. It looks like a lot of fun. If there was an Italian version, what would go 100. down? Uh, Meatballs. You, you're you like you make it a pasta. You eat it the pasta. <laughs> You just like, yeah, you eat dolces in the morning. It's gonna be eating, basically. It's just uh, life. Playing bocce ball. <laughs> That'll be like the mini game within the game. Okay. Uh, and you, you fail to qualify for international soccer play. Oh, wow. Everyone's it's okay. Crying. Yeah, no, that. I was crying all World Cup, okay? Italy's team is absolute trash right now. All okay. right, we love <laughs> laughing at gamer stereotypes, and it's even funnier when they're true. Here's a post by Nape Town Fellow. Right, there's a whole story behind this. Okay, so Opie said, we are having my son's room painted. He didn't let it stop his gaming. <laughs> my wife is dealing with it. He set up it up in the kitchen. He set up in the kitchen. Oh my God. Hey, you got. You can't let you know anything stop your ranking up the ladder. You gotta. Um, no, I appreciate this, and I kind of love that his parents are like, you know what? That's cool. You yeah. need to do you. Like you set up in the kitchen. It's all. Gr it's all gravy. Like oh, you no, can't no, stop. You can't stop streaming. <laughs> no, streamers. Uh, like you have to keep playing. It's true. Uh, this is where it gets into danger territory. Where it's like the fact that come on, you're like literally blocking the kitchen to play games. Guys, wait like a, a week. No. Have you ever? Like, what was the longest you haven't played a game? Oh, well, I mean, it depends for me because I go in waves, right? But if yeah. I'm heavily addicted to something, like, if that was Skyrim for me, like when Skyrim came out, I would not stop playing. Renovations could be happening. I would have also moved my setup and played somewhere else too. What? No, because you don't want to lose the momentum that you have in game. Like, there's nothing worse than that. Like, now I've lost the momentum in Stardew. I've got to go back and like rekindle relationships. Stardew? Relationship. Yeah, no, you. There's certain momentum. games that you. You have to keep going, and then where you forget what you're doing. Damn God. it. I wish I could have muted you for that. All right, uh, let's end it with an oldie, but Goldie. Thanks to Rizzy Super, we can experience the feels of screwing over your teammates. <laughs> Credits oh to the man that made that or girl. Uh, I love it. No, no. no the, the look, the zoom on the eyes, you're just like, oh, my bad. My bad, dude. Uh, Marissa, have you ever done something like that to a teammate um, or experience? I mean, I guess it because if I, especially if I'm playing a game like that, like I do really dumb things. Yeah. So you should not play with me in anything competitive online. Yeah. Just because I start to get panicked. Yeah. You get panicked and like you think it's a good idea to throw to throw a nade right then because the door was closing. But like, wow, that was really bad timing. It was really timing. off his timing though. His timing was really off. Okay, it was so bad, but see, then we get awesome content like that. That's that you true. and I get to enjoy. I wish my teammates you. felt the same way when I self nade or, you know, like they don't laugh. Oh, I'm sure that they didn't laugh at the moment. They were really pissed, but then you make a video about it later and it's all Gucci, I don't want to remember those moments. I want to remember you always, and I want to remember you. That's it for I'm Muted. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Someone type an exclamation mark socials right now to see all of our channels, and we'll see you next time.